one day you see a large bullish candle in bank nifty right after the market open you take a long trade hoping the rally will continue however the price remains flat and moves sideways for the entire day on another trading day you see small price movements in bank nifty after the market open you predict it might trade sideways so you choose a strategy that doesn't depend on market direction like a short straddle or short triangle but the market moves in one direction hitting your stop loss keeping you in a frustrated mode how do you deal with situations like this in trading the simple answer is day structures day structures from market profiles provide valuable insights into the price action and behavior of the market within a single trading session by analyzing the development of the initial balance range which is nothing but first one hour range in indian market conditions we can gain a deeper understanding of market dynamics and potential trading opportunities as per market profile in any market whether it is a cash market commodity market or forex market any trading day can exhibit one of these six day structures one normal day number two normal variation day number three trend day number four double distribution day number fifth neutral day number six non trend day friends please note that it is important to understand how the day structures are constructed and define to estimate the further direction in any trading day so please pay attention to the definition of these day structures after that i will explain how to use this information to predict the range and direction logic should come first and magic should come later isn't it all the day structures are identified using the ip range which is nothing but the initial balance range at the moment the indian market operates between 9:15 am to 3:30 pm so the first one hour range that is 9:15 am to 10:15 am forms the ip range the us market operates in two sessions if you trade only the first session between 9:30 am to 4 pm then you can use one hour range as the ib range but if you are carrying your intraday trades to the second session means then you can use 1.5 hour range as the ib range number 1 normal day a normal day will have a wide ib range and it indicates big players already established their position immediately after the market open During a normal day the price stays sideways within the IP range most of the time now you think how to say the IP is wide or small isn't it but the IP range is subjective for every stock or index to declare a few points as wide IP or a small IP because every stock or index comes with a different price level and price range isn't it but as a thumb rule one can take the average of the last 10 days price range low to high and if the ip range exceeds this average range then you can consider it as wide ib now don't ask me how to calculate the last 10 days price range it is very simple friends you can simply plot the atr indicator on daily charts and change the period settings to 10 it will plot the last 10 days average range automatically For example if nifty's last 10 days average true range is 100 points any initial balance range you know above 100 points can be considered as wide ib range if it shows less than 40 points of ib range then you can consider it as a small ib if it shows between 40 to 90 points ib range you can consider it as a medium ib you can follow this thumb rule in a simple manner if the ip range is less than 40% of the atr value on daily charts for the 10 period then it is small ip if the ip range is in between 40 to 90% of the atr value then it is medium ip and if it is more than 90 to 100% of the atr value then you can consider it as wide ip i hope this is clear right now i will come back to the normal day so in normal day this is an example of normal day in nifty so basically it starts with an wide ip and most of the price action will be within the ib range so 
the next one is normal variation day so in normal variation day what happens is there is a medium ib range in normal day it is wide ib but in normal variation day it is a medium ib and price extends either upside or downside equal to the length of ib range i'll repeat once again in normal variation day medium ib price extends either upside or downside almost equal to the length of the ib range so this is the uh, important structure of the normal variation day so this is an example of a normal variation day where the ib range is medium in this case price extended on the downside almost equal to the length of the ib range right so the next one is trend day in trend day what happens is there is a small ib okay in normal day wide ib normal variation day medium ib in trend day it is small ib price extends either upside or downside more than two times of the ib range actually okay so this is a trend day see this is ib range this is very small if you look at the extension it is more than two times right so this is how a trend day typical trend day looks like this is an example of a trend day if you look at this this is a small ib range but the price extended downside more than two times of the ib range isn't it this is the important characteristics of a trend day so next one is a double distribution day uh, if you are a beginner don't worry about this you can consider double distribution as trend day itself uh, even double distribution day starts with a small ib price extends you know either upside or downside more than two times of the ib range but the difference between trend day and double distribution day is in double distribution day there will be an explosive move in the second of actually okay so that basically it separates with a single print if you can't understand market profile chart it is fine i mean dd day and trend day looks very similar but if you go to market profile chart it looks in a little bit different manner for example the range will be separated by a one single print there are two bell curves right there are two bell curves two distribution curves which is separated by a single print this is the characteristics of a double distribution day so if you can't understand it is fine you can consider a double distribution day as a trend day itself that is fine it is not a problem so now the next one is neutral day so i will repeat once again normal day wide ib price stays within the same range normal variation day medium ib price extend upside or downside equal to the length of the ib range uh, next is trend day trend day small ib price extend either upside or downside more than two times of the ib range distribution day double distribution day is almost same next one is neutral day even in neutral day ib range is medium okay but the difference between normal variation day and neutral day is neutral day doesn't give a very good move either upside or downside but it gives small move on both the sides above ib range below ib range it gives a small uh, moves actually so we get neutral day very very rarely and we can see this neutral day formation at important support levels or important resistance level that is the beauty of neutral day so whenever you get a medium ib don't assume you will get neutral day there is a high possibility of normal variation day but if you get that ib range at important support levels or resistance level and daily charts then there is a slight possibility of a neutral day as well because price extends on both the sides small extension on both the sides in this case it extended upside it is also extended on the downside isn't it so this is an example of a neutral day in nifty so if you look at ib that is a medium ib price extended on downside first and it is also extended on the upside first and it closed within the ib range right so this is a typical structure of a neutral day so next one is non trend day so in non trend day this is also a very very rare possibility and we get this day structure whenever the market is waiting for something like fed event or rbi event or if it is waiting for some uh, you know result uh, then only you will get uh, this kind of uh, non trend day structure again non trend day is characterized by medium ib or small ib now we we might get a non trend day even with small ib even with medium ib 
so price stays within the ib range most of the time most of the day you know from 9:15 to 3:30 the price stays within the same range so this is a non trend so it's complete it indicates complete flat market actually okay so this is an example of a uh, non trend day in nifty if you look at nifty this is a 15 minute chart we got non trend day uh, on two days continuously so what it indicates is market is uh, desperately waiting for something before it starts its original move okay so now the question is okay uh, you you might get some confusion about Uh, the ib formation and how to determine a day structure or how to anticipate a day structure it is very simple friends ib range wide ib there is only one day possibility normal day don't worry i will also explain how to take trades based on this but try to understand you know how to identify the ib range whether it is a small ib medium ib or big ib then how to anticipate the day structure based on that so once you get this clarity you will easily or automatically understand what are the trading strategies to deploy on this particular trading days so now when you have a wide ib normal day possibility is very simple very straight forward now when you have a medium ib you will get i mean the possibilities are normal variation day neutral day non trend day but friends uh, you know i will repeat i mean I'm, i'm repeating this once again so there is a high possibility of normal variation day whenever you see a medium ib why because we get neutral day very rarely that what important support levels and resistance level in a while i will show it on the charts as well and so easily you can uh, you know anticipate normal variation day and next is non trend day even non trend day is very very rare and we get non trend day structure whenever the market is waiting for something so let's say rbi repo result is announcement is tomorrow so you can anticipate uh, non trend day today right similarly fed rate is coming or inflation rate is coming tomorrow so previous day most of the cases it will become a non trend day so except those days and except the price is near important support or resistance level you can always anticipate a normal variation day whenever you get a medium ib range right so next one is small ib so in small ib it is very straight forward trend day double distribution day in which you know it gives very good move on both the sides non trend day is also a possibility once again when you see a small ib if the market is not waiting for something you know there is no fed rate announcement there is no rbi rate announcement you can easily anticipate a trend day or a double distribution day on that particular day and we can you know deploy a strategy as i said earlier out of 100 trading days 70 are normal variation days so whenever you see a small a medium ib range and you can anticipate a normal variation day and either upside or downside so we'll walk through with the charts so for example what i do is i will go to charts so uh, there is an interesting uh, indicator is there it's initial balance indicator so you go to indicator you type initial balance i n i t i e a l initial balance so there is an indicator uh, disclaimer this is not my indicator i don't get any benefit if you use this so there is an indicator initial balance indicator uh, it has developed by sanjay underscore raman ramanathan it has uh, you know 1100 uh, users so if you click on this so what it does is it plots the ib range one hour range automatically for you in indian market conditions so you can change the settings here you can go here you can change i know everything you can change the style high low plots background you can increase the opacity if you want so you can do all these things with this indicator now i will walk through with one by one see friends last few days especially in one month market was bit volatile uh, so you you will see little deviation but still uh, whatever i explained it holds good and for me i don't uh, have to you know uh, check the uh, you know uh, ATR indicator and all because I'm uh, trading since few years and especially in Nifty and Bank Nifty. So easily I can say whether it is a normal day, non-normal variation day, something like that. See, for example, this is a non-trend day, so which indicates IB range is medium, so price stayed within the IB range, right? So this is a uh, non-trend day, which indicates market is waiting for something. 
so this is also a kind of a non trend a eh? small medium ib range price stayed within the ib range for for example this is a normal variation a eh? price extended on the downside equal to the length of the ib range so this is a kind of uh, non trend a eh? small ib price stayed within the range most of the time except this little bit part and this is a kind of uh, non trend eh? or you can say normal variation a eh? so this is a normal variation a eh? price extended on the upside so this is a non trend a eh? small ib or medium small ib price stayed within the ib range see friends this is a normal day so price big ib wide ib and price stayed within the ib range so this is a kind of uh, you can say normal variation day or non trend day so this is definitely a non trend day non trend day so this is medium ib so normal variation day so this is non trend day non trend day normal variation day see this is non trend day see this is neutral day right so this is a ib range price extended on the uh, downside and it extended on the downside so i will repeat once again neutral day occurs very very rarely at important support or resistance level see after all these days we got one neutral day right for example this is 20th march 24 if you go to daily charts you will see an important support level or resistance level this is 20th march 2024 i'll go to daily charts you can see it so 20th march is 20th march is see friends this is the 20th march the doji and daily charts right see this is at important support level right see see this is an important price level which acted as support here support here support here see here we got doji on 20th march so i will repeat once again neutral day occurs very rarely and it occurs at very important uh, support or resistance level so if the price is not at important support or resistance level if you get a medium ib there is a high possibility of normal variation difference so that's how it works so now we can also see uh, bank nifty for example i will go to bank nifty uh, after going to bank nifty i will remove all these lines i will use these lines for my daily trade and analysis see for example if i go to 15 minute chart again it it plots uh, the ib range automatic fro because i'm using this indicator see again this is a non trend which indicates market is waiting for something non trend day so this is also a non trend day non trend day so this is a kind of neutral day for example see here there is a small extension there is a small extension if you look at this daily charts you know there will be an important level for example 9th april 2024 right i will go to daily charts if you see 9th april see this is the 9th april can you see this is the previous all time high so we got a neutral day on this day particular 9th april right see neutral day always occurs at important support level or resistance level so i will come back to this i will delete this so as referring to 9th april right 8th april this is a non trend day so this is a normal variation day price extended on the upside equal to the length of the ib range so this is a kind of a normal day wide ib price stayed within the ib range so this is a medium ib and almost equal to the length of a little bit uh, lesser than the ib range but normal variation day so non trend day non trend day so this is a kind of normal variation day non trend day non trend day normal day so this is non trend day so this is a neutral day once again 20th march you know you, price extended on the downside price extended on the upside if you look at uh, daily charts again it will be an important price level 20th march right i will go to daily charts so you can see here 20th march yeah this is the one see this is an important price level right so we got the neutral at important price level so if i go to 20th march see this is a neutral day so this is a non trend day this is a kind of non trend day non trend day this is a normal variation day so this is a trend day so this is a normal day so this is normal variation day this is non trend day this is normal day this is normal variation day so this is trend day so this is uh, a normal day this is trend day see if you look at this friends uh, whenever you get a medium ib there is a high possibility of a normal variation day i hope this uh, makes sense right out of 100 trading days 70 are normal variation days so 
whenever you get a medium ib you can always anticipate there is a high possibility of normal variation days except the price should not be at important support level or resistance levels on daily charts and weekly charts and market should not uh, wait for something you know there should not be an announcement of fed rate or rbi rate on the next day or within two days so now the trading strategy this is the most important friends listen to me very very carefully whenever you get a wide ib so wide ib it is very very simple normal day possibility is very high right there is no other day possibility normal day possibility so if you deploy uh, you know after 1015 if you deploy you know uh, trend strategy or if you do options buying if you do all these things definitely you lose money why because whenever you get a wide ib range there is a high possibility of price staying within the same range right so the good strategy is short straddle or short triangle within that range okay you can sell the call option of the higher level you can sell the put option of the higher level along with an hedge or stop loss friends stop loss and hedge is mandatory so you can use either stop loss or hedge and you know you can sell the the call option at the higher level you can sell the put option at the lower level and you can continue okay you can eat the premium from 10 15 to 3 or 3 15 okay this is one simple strategy so the next strategy is whenever you get a medium ib there is a high possibility of normal variation there right suppose let's say the market is not at important support level or not at important resistance level then this strategy is applicable but if if it is uh, if the price is at important support level or resistance level and daily charts then you can skip that particular trading day or in almost in all the cases means out of 100 days 70 or normal variation days in all those cases you can look for over based strategy if the price breaks on the upside you can you can take a long trade if the price breaks a uh, lower side you can take a short trade uh, this is very simple strategy and effective strategy when you get a medium ib okay so the next one is uh, small ib actually so whenever we get a small ib the only day structure possibilities are trend day double distribution day and non trend day right so in trend day and double distribution day price extends on both i mean either on the upside or downside more than two times right so this is a wonderful day structure to make uh, you know very good profit actually so again you should deploy the over based strategy if the price breaks on the upside you can opt for a long trade if the price breaks a lower side you can opt for a short trade this over based strategy now people ask over based strategy doesn't work a over based strategy you know uh, it will give a lot of false breakouts and all but friends i have made a detailed video on this you know, uh, you know, if you use one simple filter in ORB strategy, it gives very good accuracy and it gives very good high profit factor also. So I will share the link of this video in the description. So if you have any doubts related to ORB strategy or how to take the, uh, you know, uh, high B high breakout or high B low breakout trades, if you are not very clear with it you can watch this video it give it will give a lot of information so now the strategy is very very simple friends i'll repeat once again if you get a wide ib if you get a wide ib normal day possibility is very high so you can deploy short straddle or short triangle strategy if you get a medium IB, there is a high possibility of a normal variation day. You can look for open range breakout trades. If it breaks on the upside, you can take a long trade. If it breaks on the lower side, you can take a short trade. And if the you know mid IB range is very small, they can then you can anticipate a trend day or a double distribution day. And uh, again, you can, de you can deploy a war based strategy. If the price breaks on the upside, you can take a long trade. If the price breaks on the downside, you can take a short trade. So this is how you can manage your trade, friends. I hope uh, this video is uh, very, very helpful. Uh, do you want me to cover any other important uh, 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 topics on trading? If yes, please comment below, friends. Uh, thank you. See you in the next video.